But you can't play scared poker. I don't want to be. Yeah, you got a, a lot of money. There. I made a big play. Big flop. Big flop. Big draw. I had ten. Yeah, that was good. That was good. My ten was good. Was it good or no? What do you? It think? wasn't a good ten. A lot of tennis players in the game. Seems so odd. Patrick Antonius was a former tennis player. I know Gus Hansen was a tennis player. David Benny mean a tennis player. What is it with athletes that turn to poker players? I think that being an athlete, being competitive, gives you that drive, that mental urge to win. And it carries over on the green felt just as well as it does on the court. So, Robert, what, what sport did you play? Um, I was actually an all-state basketball player, believe it or not. Really? Yeah. Looking at me now, you look like I'm hiding basketballs. 600 to pull. Race to 1,900. This time Ziggin picks up a real hand. He's got the snowmen. Oberstad with 10-9. For people living in warmer climates, snowmen referring to the two eights in his hand. Cool. Oberstad calls, and Benjamin picks up another big hand in the blinds, this time ace-queen. I suspect we'll see at least a three bet here. We race to 7,400. And sure enough, there's another three bet. We just saw this. It's like deja vu. <laughs> This time, instead of the four bet, you got the raise from Zygmunt, the call from Annette, and a three bet from David Benjamin. 7,400 total. But this time, though, I'm not sure if Zygmunt's going to fold so quickly. No, matter of fact, he, he might actually consider a re-raise here in this spot. Well, I guess he's considering the call. Call. How much 7,400 total. Maybe 60. Zygmunt calls, and is that going to bring in Oberstad now? It very well could, and that's checking out the stack size of David Benjamin. Uh, she's getting a little bit more than 3 to 1 on the call, plus implied odds. By the way, implied odds. Pass. Well, basically, in a nutshell, when you have the right implied odds, it means it's not what you can win right here on this hand. It's how much can you win on later streets, how much in the overall pot you can win this hand. Right, if you hit your hand, how much you can potentially win. Flop 10, 4, 3, Play 2 four, clubs. Check. Annette would have made top pair, but she folded. Sigmund with the best of it right now with the snowmen. Annette. Benjamin's got the betting lead. He was the pre-flop aggressor. He's got the whip, especially with... Uh, one over card, but I'll tell you right now, Zygmunt's not the kind of player with only one card out there to not make this call if David Benjamin does leave this flop. Uh, I think Zygmunt would definitely call here. Pot 18,000. Benjamin's going to check. Check or bet? I think it's a smart check by David Benjamin. He's not really running up the white flag. He's not saying, I surrender, but at the same time, he's saying, okay. That's a disjointed flop. There's a good chance that he knows I'm on big cards, but that might not have fit my hand. Check. I actually like this, especially against the aggressive Finnish player. Ten. And a check, check. check Turn is another 10. And that's now kicking herself. That would have been trip 10s for her. Especially with the uh, check, check flop. It would have been a very, very good turn card for Annette Oberstad's hand. Well, now it wouldn't make any sense to me if David Benjamin led this pot here on the turn. Bet, 9,000. I'm really surprised. It's not telling 9, a very consistent story. So many times in poker, it's the story that you tell. Well, is there a chance that he thinks he has the best hand? I mean, is there a chance? I mean, remember, Zygmunt, who sometimes will call lightly, is there a chance that Zygmunt's got King Jack? Well, here's the problem. By leading this turn card, even if he thinks he has the best hand right here, he can only be called by hand. That beats him. Cool. And uh, Zygmunt does call, and you're right. Oh. You can only beat him. Well, that was bingo. Check. Now, Zygmunt, if he wasn't sure if he was ahead before, he's pretty sure now. Check. Check or bet. He's got to make a real odd bet to get paid off here. It's got to basically overbet over, the pot. Overbet or drastically value bet. Yeah, we've seen this from Zygmunt, though. We've seen like, the overbet. Like 12,000, like a third of the pot. He's got to do one or the other to get this hand paid off. But I would think, knowing how Zygmunt plays, we're more likely to see it. Bet 100,000. <laughs> we're more likely to see an overbet. We knew it. You wow. knew it was coming. You well, knew the overbet was coming. And Zygmunt does this with his bluffs. He does this with his made hands. It's one of the reasons he's so dangerous. Speaking of overbets, there was 36,000 in this pot. Now there's 136,000. Wow. Of course, David Bayman only has 43,000 left. I, I like it from Zygmunt's side of the felt. Right, effectively the bet's only 43,000. That's correct. 
but it just looks so odd because most players go, you know, if you had a made hand, wouldn't you want to get paid off? That's the conventional thinking. Zygmunt goes the other way around and he goes, you know what? That's what you're thinking, so I'm going to do this instead. Yep. He's definitely an unconventional player, but I'll tell you what, his style of play works. He could d definitely be on a broken flush draw right here. He could he could have a club draw. David Benjamin might try to make a hero call here. He could have six high. He could have five six. I mean, you think of all the hands he could have right now. Easily, easily could be on a on a bluff. I I think there's actually over 50 percent chance that David Benjamin's going to pay this off. And I can't say that if I'm David Benjamin that I fault him exactly. It's kind of a tough spot. I bet David Benjamin wishes he didn't make that turn bet because the turn bet is what's really got him in a perplexed state right now. Ivy watching on. There's the call. Yep. There's the call I from Benjamin. He, I thought he might get paid off here, and he does. House. And I think Benjamin knew it. Benjamin said, you know what, you've got a monster or you got nothing at all. It had to be one or the other. Yeah. I don't I can't really fault David Benjamin for that. Huge pot. And it goes to Zygmunt, 122,800. Nice one. Thanks. And Benjamin's gonna have to rebuy. He has been felted. And he makes the signal. Is that for one hundred thousand or one million? <laughs> you never know with David Benjamin. Yeah, with this crowd you never know. David Benjamin down 100,000, Patrick Antonius down 93,8, Oberstad.